Well, let's look at the world according to AIG. Let me see. I'm begging, begging, begging the government for money. Oh, please, government, give me, give me lots of money. I'm going to fall apart, and your whole economy is going to collapse. So the government gets gives them lots and lots and lots of money, oh, blinding amounts of money. And AIG has, knowing the government's money was coming, put in place a lot of phony contracts. Now they are probably contracting with their friends abroad, with relatives, with all kinds of businesses for future business interests. And they make up these phony contracts and say, okay, once I get the money, then I'll pay you off with these phony contracts. And I'll say it's required because I made a contract with you. So what is the, the government gives them the money? The government doesn't put anything up to require uh, a spend, spending requirements, doesn't have anything in writing. Um, you know, I wish I could get this kind of loan. I don't know where this comes from, but uh, you know, this is what they did. And now AIG comes back and says, well, I was paying off all my contracts with all that money and I spent it all on those contracts. And, and of course, we all know that the contracts went to um, probably subversive groups and who knows, they might be paying for wars or future wars or overthrow of our own government. We don't even know what they're paying for with these contracts or who they're paying or, um, you know. So, no AIG, we're not falling for it. How stupid do you think we are? Well, some of us are not very stupid. We know the financial games you're playing and you give us that money back. Of course, you were smart enough to get the government to buy 80% of your failing business. Oh my gosh, where does this happen? Where do I sign up? But anyway, AIG, we want the money back. This is going too far. I mean, I just can't believe it.